we're telling tales of Snaguruchka and just enjoying the holiday. We're all finally up and uh, kind of getting around. How are things in the control room this morning? Oh, they're going great. We started off our shift with uh, Santa uh, came to visit right at the beginning of the shift. Looked a lot like Michael Coates. They do, uh, they do look alike. They really do. So we had that, and I won't tell you all of the Christmas goodies that we are eating since, you know, you don't have that, uh, that uh, luxury up there. Well, our table is building. We're going to have a little feast. Oh, what is it, up here in the I learned that from I learned that from an article that Oleg's wife wrote in a journal at one place. She wrote about Sasha Samokutyayev. Here in the Vesmir, and it's a feast for the, for the world. And now we're going to have that on board today as we fly around the world 15 or 16 times over the course of the Christmas day. Uh, Ginger, are all the uh, control centers uh, able to join us? Yes, we're shipping the video over to Moscow, and everybody else should have the downlink up. All right. Sweet. Okay. Well, we have, as you can see, Santa visited us last night, too. I think uh, his initials were EHP, maybe, too. But uh, Santa did come pay us a visit, even off the planet. His reindeer are faster than most people give him credit for. Obviously, had to get to about 17,000-plus miles per hour for a rendezvous. Left the sack of gifts on board. We have a yoka, a Christmas tree, and uh, very good uh, spirits on board. Everybody got to sleep in, and we get to enjoy the day. It's a great Christmas day. And uh, we know, uh, I myself have uh, seen that Santa Claus that looks like Michael Kurtz before as a Capcom, and uh, we appreciate uh, all the people who give up their Christmas down there to be in uh, and support us. Um, one of the things uh, I think is uh, important to remember is that um, what you guys are doing really is a gift that you're giving to a lot of people. In fact, I think you're giving a gift to children 10 generations down the line who, uh, who will benefit from what we're doing up here. So um, uh, there are people all over the world doing things in remote places that can't be home with their families. We're just uh, one of them, but look at, the, look at the perks we have and how well we're taken care of up here. And we really get to enjoy the holidays up here, even though we're in a remote location, in a way that a lot of people don't get to. So uh, we wish them all the best, and we hope everybody has a great Christmas season down on the planet. And with that, uh, we have uh, very talented people on board of all sorts, and uh, one of them uh, just joined us. Uh, Chris Hadfield's got a guitar that he can play. Ramon plays as well. Uh, Oleg plays as well. And I bet you there's uh, musicians up here that haven't actually shown their hand yet because uh, I think musical instruments disappear into cayutes at night and then reappear back out in the hallway. So at some point, maybe we'll have uh, Max Q uh, uh, in, in orbit up here. Uh, we'll be feeling. So with that, we're going to uh, just sing you a couple songs. One of them that reflects kind of, uh, kind of our... Uh, Thoughts about in home and those at home, uh, and I don't know, what's the name of the Christmas? Yeah, so uh, I'll be home for Christmas. We're going to sing that little tune. I'm going to hum in the background, and uh, these guys are going to sing the words, and then we're going to also uh, sing one more to finish off the traditional one, and just make sure you guys all know how much we appreciate it. Are you ready? We are so ready. All right, we got to get our photographer back here in just a minute.
Did you hear it? You hear the applause? I hear the applause. That's awesome. All right, and of course, we do wish you a Merry Christmas from one board, so here we go with one more. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Nicely done. That you bar sounds made, wonderful. A, you made our shift. Well, that was the whole point. That was the whole point. So thank you guys for being down there. We didn't forget about you when we woke up this morning, even though we were quiet and we came out of our bombers and got the day going. Uh, we know you're down there all the time, always vigilant for things like IAC transitions and those sorts of things. So uh, thanks for watching over our backs and uh, watching over our shoulders and taking good care of us so we can get up here and uh, and take care of all the work that needs to be done uh, for our great planet Earth. So you guys have a great day, and uh, we'll come back and say hi to the later ships too, hopefully. Thanks, Ginger. All right. Thank you, guys. Bye. Everybody say bye. bye. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Hey, are we all locked up on Tom Houston with you on this Christmas day? Yeah, we uh, got a great shot of you guys and have you loud and clear. All right, well, welcome on board uh, International Space Station for this uh, great holiday. Uh, Christmas is a very special time of year for most people in the United States, and uh, as you know, uh, almost all people in the world celebrate this season. Uh, just uh, the peace of the world and all that sort of thing. And uh, we're up here having a great holiday today, and we really appreciate you let us have a little downtime and giving us some time off. Uh, we're in this beautiful facility, and we've had a wonderful day. And I just want to say it is, it is no sacrifice for us to be up here. And away, we are away from our loved ones. It's a sacrifice on the part of our loved ones. But for us, we are really, really enjoying being in space, and uh, we, we appreciate uh, what you've done to put us up here. You, on the other hand, are working today in uh, mission control and uh, supporting us down there, and I know uh, you're giving up a lot to be in today, as are a lot of people around the world who are serving their country. And uh, as I mentioned to the ship this morning, you guys down there really represent um, a team that's given a gift to what I think uh, will be a gift to children for generations to come. Twenty generations down the road, uh, the children on this planet will benefit from uh, what you're doing uh, with this International Space Station to make the world a better place. Now, we're on the leading edge, uh, the cutting edge, and uh, we are going to make a difference. There's no question in any of our minds. So 
So welcome aboard. Thank you for this uh, day of sacrifice you guys are putting in down in Mission Control. And we wanted to just bring you up on board with us and let you show, share in a little bit of our joy. We have some music. It turns out we've got a bunch of musicians on board here. They're all over the place. And uh, we've got a, a fantastic guitar. Uh, Chris Hadfield knows how to tune that guitar. So it's finally in fantastic shape. And we're going to sing a couple songs. We're even going to sing a different song than we sang to first shift. That's how brave we are today. So uh, <laughs> not that it didn't go well the first time, but we're going to sing We're gonna sing White Christmas uh, to start off. Uh, and here we go. Let's see. You. Where, where are the words? Oh, yeah. Here we go. All right. You ready? Yes. Here we go. I'm dreaming. supporting this this noble and amazing project. You guys have a wonderful evening, and uh, if you have a, a minute, if you could uh, give the flight console a call, uh, I'd appreciate that. Okay, absolutely well. <laughs> 